My name is uh, Letolo Nelson Makamu. But uh, because of my work, I'm known as Nelson Makamu. I'm an artist. I was born in Limpopo, um, a small town called Mudimunde. Where I was born, I used to play barefoot. I used, I used to play in the mud. Half of the time, I was half naked. Flip that, and and those are the images that you find online when you actually Google an African child. You you today you can't you won't find a lot of them because our work push those narratives away. The art industry in South Africa is so small. So anything that is so small, that means at some point, you're gonna run it over and over and over and over and over. You have to leave at some point. You need to go to territories where people will judge your work from an honest point of view. They will judge it. They don't know anything about you. And this was one of the typical examples that I even said it uh, when I had a show in the Netherlands, when this old lady is like, why are they so sad? I'm like, you're only saying that because you read from my background that I'm from Africa. Because anything that is coming from that continent, it has to actually represent sadness. Spend time and look at my work. And then tell me after. Don't just walk in and you already concluded that where we come from, there's sadness, and there isn't. I, I will have a voice, it will be to unite and to actually create a division. And if I were to relate myself, I would relate myself in a sense of a community than in a sense of um, me having to focus on me. I believe this is like we're all born equal. It's just we're born in different environments. Every child is born a genius because they're able to within that environment, they are able to turn it into something. So that is, that is when I was like, I, I'm gonna, every portrait of every child, I'm gonna add glasses to show how intelligent that child is and how they look at the world. It also makes you appreciate where you come from more than anything else. Because your, your world, it starts with less materials. It starts with you first before anything else. And I think the idea that we have to be different and that's what's going to make us humans. Out of all the people, I think this, this, this one person that I would, I would have to say thank you first uh, before anything, I think. So as much as I'm an artist and I sometimes create things, but there's people who do simple things that also amaze me as well. And my mother's one of those people. Home has been many places. I used to think Limpopo, it, it was a home, but I think any place that you feel, you just feel like you can express yourself freely without actually feeling limited. I think after, after high school, there was a place where I wanted to pursue my career. And then you know, you start, it started as a place where you go and study, but eventually it becomes a home for you. So I think a lot of things, because of the culture that Jobek has always given to us, he always seems to build everything around Johannesburg than the place where you were born. What has probably made me the artist that I am it was Jobek because of what the culture has sort of pushed me to believe this is what it takes to be an artist um, of my caliber. Any Limpopo and Gauteng, that South Africa will always have this place in my heart that I don't, I don't know why, but you know, it will always be like that. It's a home, you know, home. Home is it's a place that always offer us a certain security. This 
building was mainly, it, it was a collective movement that led into us having to acquire this building because we wanted to build an academy, music, fashion and art. It was something that we felt that was needed. I have learned that even within the umbrella of, of our company, I've learned to, to work with others and to trust the process of having to have a collective movement. No matter how brilliant you are, how creative you are, it, it always takes a, a, a supportive structure to build what you want to build. I think that, that like the project as a whole, it, it is a complete different project. My my approach, it, it, it was me in the beginning, but then it was like, what has made my journey to be the way it is, is it, it was like a community of a whole lot of different people. In an African proverb, they say it takes a village to raise a child, to make the child aware that you, your existence is not just only a blessing to your family, but it's a blessing to a whole lot of community as a whole as well. Probably the main subject that is used is just, it's, it's a figure of any human, and it's not a figure of a certain specific human. So any person can find themselves within that. As, as an artist, when you get an opportunity like that to have a moment to write a story about your life, in what language will you use? Will you use the language only you understand, or would you use a language that will allow others to become part of your celebration as well? And I think that's, um, that was also the other thing that has made the whole process to be a special. And then the, the first chapter, it was the, the Pampa. And I think that is, that is why you can say that I've worked a lot of it. It was an intro. Normally the intro in a normal world is that they keep it as short as possible because it's an introduction so that people never get bored. But I, I kept the intro long and everything that accompanying it, I actually kept it as short as, short as possible. The first thing I, I thought about it more than anything else is when someone follows you, this is the only thing that they see first before they see you. It's almost like you're welcome. But the way I also created it is that it's got a, it does have a perspective. And that perspective, it means the journey is still more than anything else. It's enjoyable because there's a collective movement that is there. And anything that we do in life is, the first thing is the landscape. The landscape can be inviting. Scenery is it's the reason why a lot of time we travel. And that's, that's, that's one thing that also inspired the Bamba, the scenery. The life as a journey has a lot of beautiful things that are accompanying it as well. And those things is, is culture, it's race, it's politics, it's, so I, I looked at every element that defines us as humans. And why, why did I do that? That every person will have the opportunity to look at up close and personal with the work. It, it, it should amaze them to feel that they are part of something without them even to ask questions of what were you thinking when you did this? Nature is abstract, and in a, in a way that us as humans understand it. 
And I wanted to bring that humans, when they are together as a collective, is an abstract. But that abstract is also depends on the type of energy that actually brings it. You look at an abstract piece when you look at a crowd that is in a stadium. They're not just only there, they're also chanting because maybe there's a football match. Then. then you have also a crowd of people marching. Which is, so for me, I wanted to bring that energy, but I wanted to create poetry in motion. A lot of my work are on, are on pre-plan. I don't think if I worked on sketches to plan it, it was gonna give us what we got. A lot of ideas that end up becoming in the work, they were not ideas that were conceptualized. Everyone who came in to be part of this project, their voices find themselves within the work as well, and, and it was not something that was planned. So I just looked at it and say it's a community that makes me the person that I am. If you were to look at the image in the mirrors, the way I've put them as a collective, they're completely different from the one from the Pampa. I had to look at the technique, the, the technique that was used. It's what often separates us as artists. Our brush stroke are not the same. The mirrors, they, the mirrors look like the work's floating. The details that are there, that sometimes even I, as the person who did the work, they still amaze me. There's a lot of exciting, unexpected things that popped out. But I guess that's what maybe define a journey. When you're on a journey, you'll never know what you'll find, what it will do to you. So every part is connecting to the bumper. It's coming back the intro as well. Does it have an ending? A journey doesn't. We just have stops along the way. to look at my choice of color. There were not really specifically certain colors that I, you find almost every representation of every color. That was one thing that I also wanted not to shy away from, to say that I, I will use as many dimensional colors as possible. So I, I knew that because of the, the base of the foundation color is black, it's, it's time to introduce and bring um, a certain spectrum of, of, of colors that is unusual. You should bring like reddish pink. So that, if you to look at it, it's, 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 it's landscape. Usually before dawn or after dawn, the, the sky will give you a pinkish uh, feel to, to the landscape. It will, it, will, it will touch that. Imagine that pinkish feel with a bit of touch of, 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 uh, of green, with a bit of touch of, of gold from the sun. It will obviously give you that unusual pink. The most difficult question is why? You know, because we imitate life and life imitate us. So it's, it's never been, oh, okay, the reason why I'm using yellow. Sometimes a moment can inspire you. Sometimes a mood can actually come up and you just feel like yellow is the right color to use for me to express my mood as well. It's always amazing when you say, I'm doing a road trip. You hardly do it alone. Because some of the things that you're gonna see along the way, at some point in the journey, you feel like you're alone. Because the scenery just play tricks with your mind and allow you to. At some point you're looking at and you're passing figures like they are standstill figures, like they are audience that are watching you. 
So the group that I've actually put in, uh, it's almost, you'll always have audience, almost like you're a performer. Jump into the other side. It's another person who's looking at the people that are also looking at, and it's a landscape that connects. And within that landscape, you're also saying, but there's also future generation because there's a woman also carrying a child as well. And when you look at the, the, the landscape, the landscape says the journey is not ending. We are continuing, we are forever on the moon. But what makes it even worth a while is the fact that we are spectators to each other. When they talk about poetry in motion, you always try to, to, to understand what, what, what is poetry in motion. Poetry in motion is the works that are there that you actually out of the whole entire body of work, you find that that is what reflects and speaks to you. And that is probably where you see you more than anything else. If you are to look at the green, it's not a color that most people will pick to start a work with. Green and red, that is why they've given us is a certain mood that you actually get of the green. So the names for me, it was, but these are people that are part of my life. They will always be part of this, this car, however way that I can think of. And maybe the best thing is, let me not tattoo them into my car. Let me find another way of appreciating. Let me not actually spoil everything by being that personal. I shifted away from mine, 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 but rather us, us, us. It was to every mother out there is that we are superheroes, we are where we are because you also contributed and that's why I just said, you know, I love you, Ma. You know, Ma is mother, it's any, doesn't matter what language you use, any person actually understands that as well. And every person who exists, they have a mother. I wish I was good with words. I was gonna find the words, say this is how I felt. And the most beautiful surprise, because I hate surprises. It's a treat that if it was a meal, I was gonna eat it, finish it, and ask more, and more, and more, and more, and more. Even though Porsche is jamming, people who are driving it is multiple dimensional people. So you also start saying, I can relate with the bread, because Though I'm an African in everything that I do and that I speak, but somehow, somehow my work reflect far more beyond.
every time when I look at that car, it will always remind me what a joy it brought. It's interesting that a brand can come into your space and be able to make you see the other side of you that you don't often get to see. I was once a child who never even imagined that one day they will come back with a spaceship. It was important for me to drive it also to the place that I grew up when I was like the, the township. It's probably the place that knows me better than the town because that's where I did a lot of things. But that's also where my journey started. And for me, it was not to drive there to show them how successful I am. It was not that. It was just for me to drive them to show how much that place has inspired me and I wanted to come back and inspire it back. That's something I always say to people like is that not every day people need money. Sometimes all you need to do is to show them something beautiful. It'll always be a joy to know that she was she was also there to witness it. This is as far as we've come along. And it still take us back to the journey again. Okay. It's, it's, it's mother. It'll always be beautiful.